Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Efren Olive, and it's time for another instant deck deck. Today we're heading to Modern to check out a pretty cool deck. So one question I've gotten a bunch of times over the last eh, few months is, where does Thing in the Ice fit in Modern? And so far the answer has been, eh, he hasn't really done anything yet, but that's changing. Today we're looking at a deck that I'm calling Thing Ascension. It recently took a Magic Online user by the name of ISO7 to a 5-0 finish in a competitive Modern League. So congrats to ISO7 on their finish with the deck. A quick reminder before we break it all down. If you enjoyed this deck and want to see it made into videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck because whichever is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So Thing Ascension is... A deck that I often confuse with Storm. And when I see Pyromancer's Ascension come down on turn 2 in Modern, I immediately think, oh, my opponent is probably playing a Storm deck. But that's not necessarily true. Actually, this deck is maybe more popular right now than Storm is in Modern. So the basic idea of this deck is you play a really powerful 2-mana threat, either Thing in the Ice or Pyromancer's Ascension. Preferably both is even better. And then you play a lot of spells. So this deck can very commonly flip their thing in the ice on turn 3. If you play it on turn 2, you can flip it on turn 3. You can also activate a Pyromancer's Ascension pretty quickly. The thing that makes this deck unique as far as Pyromancer Ascension decks goes is you're not really trying to combo off. You kind of are, but you're not playing Rituals and trying to go for some big Storm kill uh, with Past in Flames and Grape Shot or anything like that. Instead, you're looking to get enough counters on your Pyromancer's Ascension, which is two, to start doubling your instant and sorcery spells. And then you just burn your opponent out with Lightning Bolt. So you cast a bolt, it doubles the bolt, so you get six damage. You cast a Lightning Helix, it doubles the Helix, that's six more damage. Plus, you just flip your thing in the ice, bounce all your opponent's creatures, and that's pretty much guaranteed 7 damage if your opponent doesn't have a Path to Exile. And if they don't have a, a removal spell when they untap, that's going to get in for more damage, and it's a pretty big threat on turn 3 when it flips. So the deck, apart from its finishers, wants to fill up the graveyard to help make Pyromancer's Ascension turn on more quickly. Pyromancer's Ascension triggers when you cast an instant or sorcery with the same name as an instant or sorcery as a card in your graveyard. So cards like Faithless Looting and Thought Scour not only keep you cycling through your deck can tripping, but they also get cards into your graveyard, which makes it easier to get those counters on your Pyromancer Ascension. Then you have a bunch of just straight up can trips. Getaxian Probe lets you peek at your opponent's hand, draws a card. Serum Visions gives you a little bit of scry action draws you a card. Visions of Beyond is pretty sweet in this deck. It can dig through its deck pretty quickly and fill its graveyard pretty fast with Faithless Looting and with Thought Scour. And if you can get up to 20 or more cards in your graveyard, or if your opponent does for some reason, you turn your Cantrip into an Ancestral Recall, which is pretty powerful. And then you get Manamorphose and Remand. Manamorphose is key to flipping your thing in the ice early. If you play thing on turn two and you want to flip it on thir turn three, the easiest way to do that is to play a Manamorphose for spell number one to remove a counter, and then play three one mana spells, and the whole rest of your deck, apart from the three Remands, are those one mana cantrips. So as long as you have a single mana Morphose, you're, you're extremely likely to flip thing in the ice on turn three. Also, helps turn on your Pyromancer's Ascension for the backup burn plan. In the mana base, you get a bunch of fetch lands, a bunch of fetchable lands, a single sulfur falls, and then some basics, so very straightforward. Sideboard-wise, you got some powerful enchantment hate, so there's not much white in the deck. Essentially, it is Jeskai, but you're splashing for sideboard cards like Stony Silence for fin affinity, and then for the Lightning Helix is the only white card in the main deck. Blood Moons, very good at locking people's mana out of the game. Anger of the Gods, Path to Exile, and Engineered Explosives as additional removal. Anger is nice as a sweeper. You can engineer Explosives X3. And then Path to Exile, of course, just targeted creature removal. Dispel, 
Let you counter an instant. And then Rest for the Weary is really helpful against aggressive decks. If you're playing against Burn or something that's uh, killing you very quickly, gaining 8 life for 2 mana, and then even potentially doubling it in the late game, thanks to Pyromancer's Ascension, is a good way to put those matchups out of reach. So that is Thing Ascension. Anyway, that's been our instant deck deck for today. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.